Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Myra. Hi Myra. Hey Bob, it's and nice meeting you finally. Yeah, it's uh, my pleasure. And you're in a pretty darn nice ambulance here. I like it. Yes, I do too. <laughs> I'm very impressed. So uh, how long have you been uh, traveling in your ambulance? Uh, third trip uh, this last April, straight until now. And uh, before that, I made two short testing trips. So yeah. are you going to go full time or just take trips? No, I think I uh, didn't want to say online. My daughter doesn't want to hear that I may stay out and not go back. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I like it a lot. So and I have many other places to go. So it sounds like you've really enjoyed it. I am enjoying it. Every new place is a big surprise. Right. This is a big surprise. I didn't expect to find snowbirds. Yeah. Because I'm used to snowbirds in Florida. Right. Receiving them in Florida uh -huh. for the winter. And it turns out now I'm a snowbird here. <laughs> yes. And so what uh, made you decide to uh, travel, buy an ambulance and travel in it? I was... Uh, you know, uh, thinking back, it must be about 15 or 16 years ago at work, a co-worker of mine used to go out on vacation in her rig with her husband, and they would come back and tell me all the places that they'd been. And I always got interested in it. And then I stumbled into your videos, and I was almost ready to retire. So I said, mm -hmm, this is it. And so what made you decide on an ambulance instead of an RV? You. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I watched so many of your videos. I had notebooks on notes on these things and the other things. And uh, I knew that not an RV needed something. Is this like a monster truck? Yeah. Right? Right. Uh, and it's very, I feel very secure. It's like a vault in there. Yes. I'm very secure, and it's a very, uh, you know, up, going up those mountains. I think back, I would never go up those mountains in something that sense this. Right. Yeah. Right. With all the power and, and uh, as secure as I feel. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit about your ambulance. What, uh, the year and, and all It's that. a 1999 uh, E450 7.3 liter engine. Well, Myra, thank you so much for sharing your, your life with us and the reason you're out here. Can we take a look inside your home? It'll be my pleasure. Very man. good. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay, so we're going to go inside and take a look and uh, come along with us. This is an unusual rig. Where? Tell us the story behind this one. It was never an ambulance. It was a, it's a disaster relief vehicle from the American Red Cross. It was used for uh, dispensing, whatever needed dispensing at a, at a, a disaster place. And uh, so it doesn't have a side door, but it does have outside compartments. Right. And it's got the big window on that side right. to dispense whatever they're serving, food, whatever. Right. So you have all the outside storage. Uh, yeah. And the inside was just a big open space. Box. Yeah. This one... I had to, of course, take it to the uh, RV people to have it set for electricity, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is my, my son. My son did a lot of work. This is where I have all my extension cords and whatever. And it goes deep in there, and that's where my generator is. And so you can just go to an RV park and plug in for electricity? That's right. I have all the rigs for it. Okay. Here I have a tray that comes out. That's my house batteries. There's two. Mm -hmm. and on this side, because there's no side door and the vehicle is so tall, I had to have this ladder that comes easily like that. Oh, nice. And I, I close it up and carry it right here. And then on this side, there's the compartment where I keep all my uh, my hoses. 
Mm -hmm. Another compartment with another battery. That's oh, wow. for the engine. The engine, uh huh? Wow. The other one is so two for the engine. Right. Thirty gallon water tank. Mm -hmm. That's down here, and a thirteen gallon water tank inside, just in case this one freezes. Because oh. I saw your video. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, the uh, the ambulance came with uh, the. Its name is the Clara B for Clara Barton, the founder of the American Red Cross. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, it came with the big air conditioner, which works in this cabinet and this cabinet, and the inverter. And then I had the converter and all the electric done, and water for the two tanks. Here's the 13 gallon tank. And, and it has uh, the 30 gallon behind under the oh, under yeah mm -hmm. and this one has on a pump manual pump uh-huh and and the big one is uh it's got the electric pump for this one and do you have solar yeah up on the roof the kind that are glued on oh uh-huh yes this this whole thing was built up for me and uh this, like you said use what you have Right. Add these in the shed, put them there. Well, they're perfect. Yes, and they're they're lightweight but very strong, and they're stuck there. These are you know Walmart stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I carry my tools because I do woodwork and I do that. And uh, you're gonna ask me about my toilet. Yep, yep, yep. Got to ask about the toilet. <laughs> That's a very well hidden toilet. Mm -hmm. It's a commode. Oh, uh huh. It's a commode. Just uh, with the um, with the pee bucket. Bottle. With the pee bottle, right? Mm hmm And the bucket. Right. Ready to go. Right. Closet for my shoes and such. Mm hmm Well hidden, okay. nice yeah. and tidy. I have a diesel heater. See that? Oh yeah, yeah. There it is. It's connected directly to the diesel uh, tank. Which is sixty gallons. Right, your I mean, the vehicle really, really doesn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. That'll run forever. Right. And then my son built all this. The whole thing. So this must drop down. Yeah, my bed drops down. He put a pulley on here for me to be able to crank it up. Mm hmm. I've gotten stronger, so I don't even <laughs> need it anymore. And, you know, this this thing makes you stronger. Yeah. More agile. And everything. Yeah. So the, yeah, these these open up. I got some storage, and then this one. This is my trade place. Right close to my stove. Mm hmm This is all my son's construction. Very nice job. Yeah. Really nice job. That's him. That's my daughter, the teacher. I grab some. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, here's the. Okay, I don't believe this one. Oh, look at that! Washing machine. You got your own laundry laundromat right yes, here in town, right yes, in the rig. Uh, it'll take a whole set of sheets here, and it'll wring them. It came with the uh, fantastic fan, which works great. Mm hmm. And I built this little garage here because I have my sewing machine and my extra propane heater and electric heater. Store there. Nice. And this is my son's thing. This, this system. See how it's empty? It's also my privet for hot stuff. Nice. My pots and pans. Great. Wow, that really holds a lot. Oh yeah, yeah too, man too many, I'm getting rid of them. <laughs> I don't have to go through this all the time because once I'm parked, I'm done with that, right? Mm -hmm. Watch your leg, Cody, go. watch your leg. Go on. Okay. Nice. All the way out. It used to be on a runner. It used to be on a on this platform. Mm -hmm. Used to be on runners. Mm -hmm. 
but it's so heavy and with the weight and whatever eventually those runners they were 500 pounds each and still with the vibration they failed i had to get them removed and put these casters on nice. the platform yeah they'll never fail no and they will i had the casters in the back don't have a stop so they don't so they don't bang around in there so they're not in my way right Only these have the stops mm -hmm. so just secure it and secure it and put the bar on it doesn't move yeah very nice this is very very nice it and it's so open feeling well you can feel the breeze yes really feel the breeze and i don't even have to open both windows both doors anymore. yeah and I don't even have the fan on, you know. No, it's very, very oh, comfortable. It's beautiful like this. I have lots of storage. I have storage. I found this storage just recently underneath the bed. So what am I going to do with all that storage? So <laughs> That's I a good build, problem. <laughs> see, they just hang up here. I got all my summer clothes there. So I made those bags. Nice. And, uh, you know, when I close this connecting door, you can see how thick it is. Yes. <laughs> and I lock it up. And I'm safe in here and safe from there. And it's I'm very safe in here. Yes, very, very much. And I got my desk where I, uh, where I eat. And this comes off. Okay. Well, I have that space. And uh, my chair is outside. I sit here very comfortably. Well, it's fantastic. You got a really, really great home here. I really enjoy it. I believe I have everything I need, and I don't need anything else. Right. Taking Very a good. shower. Do you find other ways to stay clean? It's not hard. Yeah, I have the special uh, extra heavy duty wipes that mm -hmm. I send for, that are for bathing patients in the in bed, mm -hmm. right? That is really great. That is one of the better beds I've seen. He was very creative. And and the carpet wall was there. And I uh, used it for my nightstand. Because you can stick stuff, Velcro stuff. Oh, uh-huh. All over the place. And I put curtain hooks, regular curtain hooks. Uh-huh. On it. I hang my glasses there. Okay. And all kinds of stuff. Okay, well, uh, Myra, thank you so much for sharing your home with us. It's great. It's been my pleasure. Uh, thank you. And uh, just one thing. Bef when I left Florida, I went first. My route took me to places where I could meet my family members. Uh-huh. That I hadn't seen for more than 40 years. Wow. That's what took me all the way to uh, Washington, mm -hmm. Bainbridge Island, I'm a cousin there, all all of those places in California, everywhere. And then now I've visited everybody. Uh -huh. I still have to go to the Eastern Seaboard. Right. On that side, I'll, I'll probably go later on. Mm -hmm. Well, that, and a lot of people find they make better connections with family by living on wheels where they can go see them. I, after so many years of not having seen them, yes, of course, it's, it's, it's been wonderful. Yeah. It's been wonderful to reconnect and uh, have conversation with them with no limit on time mm -hmm. and uh, update everybody else. Mm -hmm. I met cousins that I knew existed that I had never met before. What a pleasure. Yes. You know? Very much so. Mm -hmm. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Yes, that's great. <laughs> that's really good. Well, Myra, thank you so much for sharing your home with us. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And it's all very much thanks to you and your uh, your advice on on YouTube. I learned so much. Good. Keep learning a lot. Okay. Keep learning a lot. Good. Always. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things I love about this life is it's an adventure in learning. There's always more to learn. Every new place has something to learn. Oh, yes. People have teach you all kinds of things all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, folks. I think you really have loved this uh, video and and meeting Myra and, and seeing her beautiful home. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, 
and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Bye.